167 right. yards. Mm -hmm. Try and avoid the bunkers. I've got five iron. Which That's is my it. professional caddy. Advice. Thank you. <laughs> For swing students out there, don't do it like this. I know I swing too far over the top. Back, so that saved my jaw. Right, come on. I can't believe you made me do this, Dom. I'm, I'm sure that our uh, Twitter users will be very honest with you. <laughs> yeah, the big oh, all that. I sort of slapped that. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Not bad. Wasn't it? <laughs> How difficult does the inconsistency of golfers make select your selections, for instance? Predicting who's going to win tournaments, very yeah. difficult. Um, very, very difficult. You know, each of them's got different sort of signposts, if you like. Like a player like Justin Thomas, I really want to see that his iron play is hot. If it is, the rest I, I don't worry about so much. And generally, that, that's probably the most common refrain from me. I, I certainly don't get hung up on putting. Putting's so unpredictable. Um, he, he, a player like Colin Marikawa, who is notoriously dodgy on the greens. He has a good week on the greens, he's going to win or nearly win. Knowing when they're going to come is difficult. Um, and that's all part of the challenge. You know, there are other players, Mark Leishman's one, who he can be brilliant one week and awful the next. And, and they're tough, but players like that come with upside because you often get a bigger price because of that volatility. But in, in play, for instance, then, are you, are you looking at club selection? Are you, are you taking note of the mentality of the golfer as the tournament unfolds? Generally, once it started, I'd be, I'd be looking quite heavily at the stats and, and trying to work out, it's a bit like XG in football, right? Um, golf's in a similar position, actually, with statistics, maybe even a little bit further down the line. <clears throat> Golfers know exactly now. We used to know, did they hit the fairway, did they hit the green? Now we know the value of each shot in a very similar way to XG. We know that they gained a certain amount over the field or lost it. So really, we can begin to piece together why exactly a golfer shot 67 and generally again it's a very broad way of putting it but <clears throat> generally if a golfer shot 67 because they've been the best putter in the field I would expect the next day the putter will go colder and there's no guarantee their long game will compensate for that the other way around if I see someone say Justin Thomas goes around in 67 and he's not made a putt I'd be fairly hopeful that the next day if the putts start to drop, he can do some serious damage. So that's generally what I'd be looking for. You're obviously also looking forward to uh, looking for players who, who, who look comfortable um, and also reading the transcripts, you know, hearing what they've got to say. And it's one of the things I miss from the Open Championship um, this year, not being in the media centre. I, I know it's easy to say now, but Jordan Spieth spoke to the media on the eve of the 27 Open Championship and he had a look in his eye which said, I'm going to be hard to beat this week. Um, and you sometimes you need to be in the room to, to really feel that um but yeah there's, there's all sorts that goes into it and it's there's no exact science just like golf so here we go hybrids <laughs> honestly i can't believe i just hit a driver 175 yards and you're going to put it on the internet just relax it's fine i'm, I'm very relaxed oh that is a shank <laughs> yeah mo's going to be clipping that one up and putting that on twitter. yeah maybe yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe let's keep that one off twitter don't really know what else to say about that dom except don't do it just 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 relax take your time all right, good. That's better. Not to get there, is it? You can tell the sound of the ball and the, the strike that it's a better shot. So, so when I know you, you play the long game a bit and making your selections, do you have to, I mean, you must, especially for Lynx golf, you must have to take the weather into consideration. Do you know, um, oh, Justin Thomas, he's terrible playing in the wind, for instance. Definitely a factor, yeah. Um, and, and Shane Lowry comes out very, very highly when you, you turn the wind up. A good example, maybe 2014 at Hoylake. He, he wasn't necessarily for me that week, but you, you turn up at Hoylake that week and it was calm and it was soft, noticeably soft. And those are conditions which Rory McIlroy absolutely loves. And there he goes and wins his first Open Championship. And um, things like that are definitely a factor. I think if, if the forecast this week had been benign, um, my selections would have been very different. Equally, if the forecast had, um, if the course condition had been much firmer, again, maybe someone like Kevin Kisner would have made the staking plan. So you're always having to think about that um, and, and weigh it up. Um, as for this, we finally have a shot which you will see professionals play. And it's one of the great things about the Open is that um, because we have short grass around the greens um, and, and, and generally quite contoured greens, there are all kinds of shots you can play. Um, again, me, not necessarily a very good player. Um, I, I'd probably putt this. Uh, you will see players do that. I'm going to chip it now because it'd be more fun. Um, but yeah, there are all kinds of shots you can chip and run. You'll see a lot of the Americans in particular hit a spinny pitch. Um, uh, and that's, that's the beauty of it. Whereas at a course like Torrey Pines, not to, not to criticise it, the rough around the greens is really, really thick. 
all you can do is hack down on it with the most lofty club in your bag and hope that you, you judge the lie. There's so much more to this, so much more nuance. So a 30 yard uh, pitch, <laughs> right, good, same as the last one. That's it. Yeah, that's all right. We might so we, we obviously know that quite a few of your readers like the fact that you will pick out these lesser known golfers. How... They do how, when it's going well. <laughs> yeah. How, how are you able to go into such detail about a, a golf that's potentially much harder to research, and especially going into something like the Open, where the, the, the elements and the, and the lay of the, the land, for instance, takes so much or makes so much of a difference? How are you able to put these names forward? There's no real trick to it. You just have to live and breathe the sport. You know, I, it can be hard, especially when you've got family and stuff, you know, to, to stay across everything. Um, and that's why generally like, I, I focus on two tours. I focus on the European Tour and the PGA Tour. If you ask me for a selection for the Senior Open Championship, I'd point you to somebody else because I, I think it's best to specialise, right? I think generally, like in, in football, say, someone who knows League Two really well might not necessarily be across the Premier League in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that if you can reduce that, that's a good starting point. But really just to, yeah, to pour over stats, but also to watch it and learn about the players, learn what what makes them tick on a golf course. You but know, you can never have things. an extended period of time off, could you? Because uh, you have a month off and you're miles behind and there's so much you don't know. Yeah, if you could tell our boss. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, um, you know, it's tough. Golf has become a year-round sport. The, the first big golf tournament of the season start is the second week of January. The last big golf tournament of the season is the second week of December. Um, the players obviously can pick their schedules. I, I can't really. Sure. <laughs> I, I try and cover as many as I can. But um, no, it's all good fun. I, I you know, I, I'm not complaining. Okay, I'll let, I'll let you get your right. head back in there. So this is off the left quite yep. significantly. Um, it's 11 feet. I'm, I just want the two putt, to be honest. No, missed it. But I do get a gimme for that. Do I? Oh no, my god. No. Yeah, it's fine. It's inside five feet. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. So I think I've made a double bogey, which I'm... I've made double? Good. So I've not won the Open, but <laughs> if I finish in the top eight, I get invited back next year, ah. which is great news for everybody. I thin that, but that might help. Go a bit. Oh, come on. That is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Good, thank you. About time.